going on everybody so in this video I want to talk about how self-help books don't work and why they don't work you know for people that are in a certain type of situation you're in a bad space in life and all that type of stuff of course go get a self-help book go do what you need to do but I was browsing around a bunch of books on Amazon and you know how Amazon gives you the the recommended books and stuff well I saw one it was a self-help book had no interest in it but the, the cover of it looked kind of cool so I just clicked it just to see what it was about and I saw one of the the reviews of course take it with a grain of salt but it just made me think like I saw a review and I was like oh this book is terrible it didn't help me with my problems at all blah 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 the tips the, and they put tips in quotes the tips and tricks to make yourself happy doesn't work for me and blah blah, blah. I was like ah oh, what a sad person because what people need to understand about self-help books is self-help books are self-help books. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to help yourself. This person has been through the ringer and they are giving you information about stuff that helped them. So if they say, oh, on every Wednesday, wake up and go for a jog. But I work on Wednesdays. These books are stupid. Tailor it to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I know that's a why that like that's like a out there example, but you get the point. The self-help book is for you to help yourself. The person writing the book can't do it for you. You know what I mean? People expect to get the 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 end all cure all for people that especially that aren't spiritually aware, spiritually conscious and that type of stuff. They just want something to just snap them out of it. Which I mean, don't get me wrong, all people do, don't get me wrong, but like they think this one self-help book is going to do it for them. Because even if it is the answer, you have to put in the work. You know, you don't look at a bunch of workout videos and see these jack dudes, dudes in, in shape and fit women, and you don't be like, okay, if I watch these videos, I'm gonna gain 20 pounds of muscle. No. So what makes you think this is gonna be any different? You know what I mean? It's just, I just think about that person and I wish I could just go give them a hug because I'm like, yo, you know you gotta put in your own work, right? You know you gotta get yourself to a point where you're not reliant on other people to make you happy with yourself, make you confident, give you the drive to go out there and achieve your dreams, you know? It's just a sad world, you know? We have become so disconnected from ourselves that we are looking to everyone else but ourselves to do the work. Now, of course, you need help along the way. Of course, someone needs to guide you. Of course, there's people you're gonna learn from, you know? But when you just think that this one person is gonna do everything for you, it ain't gonna work. Nothing's gonna happen in your life until you get up and you do what you need to do. You know, so if you're in the self-help books, like what you need to understand is the confidence lies with, lies within you. That might sound so so freaking stupid, might sound, you know, cliche, but it's true. Because at the end of the day, let's say you find the perfect book. Prince Oliver wrote an inspirational self-help book. Oh my God, Prince, you saved my life. No, I didn't, you did. I wrote the book and I put it into a, a place for it to get published and get distributed. The rest was up to you. You know, people don't give themselves enough credit. And I have a video where I talk about how, you know, these acceptance speeches, they thank everyone but themselves. Let me get an award. Like, sure, I'm going to be thankful for people that helped me along the way, but I'm going to give myself props. You know, so when you pick up that self-help book, you do the the 13 day challenge you do the one month challenge when they have you journaling all your things when you do the, this and that and all this and, and all like diets and all that type of stuff and you keep track of everything you eat and all that type of stuff you did that you brought the effort out you did everything so give yourself more credit you know self-help books do nothing you are the one helping yourself remember that take care